Hi guys, I'm going to unbox the Vivo Y30. Welcome back to my channel guys. Actually, I'm excited to unbox a Vivo phone. First time ko mag-unbox ng Vivo phone. So, ito yun. Vivo Y30. This is the latest mid-range phone coming from Vivo. So, I'm going to unbox this phone and let you know my first impressions as well as when it comes to the performance of this phone. So, let's start unboxing this phone now. Before we unbox guys, ito yung phone. Vivo Y30. Ito yung front. Ito yung back. Ito lang. May logo na Y30. By the way guys, the unit that I got is color dazzle blue. Meron din emerald black. And moonstone white. So... In the small box. Wow, meron siyang free jelly case. Medyo makapal siya. And I like it kasi meron siyang gel free jelly case. Unlike yung mga bagong labas na phone ngayon, na mid-range phone. May iba wala na rin jelly case. This is the phone. And let's see what's inside. Hmm, may cardboard pa siya o shape of the phone. The charger. And the Type-C cord. And no earphone. Yeah. Yung pin injector nito pala. Yeah. Let's put it back. And... So, here's the phone now. Ito yung sa likod. Wala pwede. Yan. So, ito na yung phone. Color Dazzle Blue. Yan. Pag tinignan nyo, parang nakaka-hypnotize na color blue daw. And, ito yung fingerprint sensor. Uh, cameras. Okay. Maganda ba guys? Yung phone. Dazzling blue. At the right side of the phone, ando yung volume control and the power button. On the bottom of the phone, ando yung earphone jack, mic, Type-C port, and the speaker. On the left side, ando yung SIM card tray and expandable memory card tray. At the back of the phone, ando yung fingerprint sensor. Uh, medyo matakaw siya sa fingerprint itong phone, the material used on this phone. So, kita na kaagad yung fingerprint ko dito. And let's switch on the phone. So guys, ito, na-set up na natin yung phone and na-open, na-turn on ko na rin. Ito siya. Actually, pag-register ng fingerprint sa likod, mabilis lang. Medyo mahirap lang sa face registration. Nakatatlong try ako. Lock. Unlock. Face recognition. Unlock na. So, lagay natin muna natin yung case. Kasi, maano yung sa fingerprint. Yan. So guys, huwag kayong magulat kasi yung the variant that we have for the Philippine version has 3 cameras only. Yung global version, 4 cameras, quad camera. Ito, triple camera. 1, 2, 3. Yung quadruple camera, nandito yung pang-apat eh. So, since Philippine version ito, triple camera lang sa likod. Kasi when I check sa vivo.com, sa vivo website, tas search for this model, ang lumabas, quadruple camera. So, nagtaka ako, the one that I have, the unit that we have, has only three cameras. So, nag-search ako ulit, pumunta ako sa vivo.com for the Philippines site. So, Vivo Philippines, ando nakita ko yung model na to with triple camera. So, I assume na this is for Philippine version. 
Ezekiel. So, mapapansin nyo, pag unang hawak nyo yung phone, medyo mabigat siya because it is 197 grams. Uh, wala pa yung case na ito. So, ngayon, with case na siya. So, medyo mabigat na rin siya sa atin. So, for the specs, the screen type is IPS LCD with 6.47 inch Ultra O screen with the resolution of 720 x 1560 pixels. Yung build niya is glass front, plastic back, and plastic frame. And it is run by Android 10, Funtouch 10.0. And the chipset is MediaTek MT6765. Again, the variant that I have has 4GB of RAM and 128GB of internal memory. And it is expandable. For the camera, it has triple camera. 13 megapixel main camera, 2 megapixel macro, and 2 megapixel depth. For the front camera, it has 8 megapixels. Both front and back camera can record video up to 1080p at 30 frames per second. So, very common siya sa mid-range phone when it comes to the quality of video recording. So, ang battery capacity of this phone is 5,000 milliamp hour. Maganda siya. Uh, it can last you all day using this phone. And sabi sa website, up to 9 hours of gaming. Pero hindi naka-specify if it's for uh, heavy gaming or light gaming siya. And it can also do reverse charging. This phone. By the way, at the bottom pala, sa may charging port, may cover din. Yung... Ito. Yung jelly case. This phone has a feature called Ultra Game Mode. So, ito yung feature na upon starting the game, may lalabas siya na option for Ultra Game Mode. Tapos, lalabas yung Game Assistant. Uh, nakasulad doon, CPU, GPU Optimized, RAM Optimized, Touch Optimized, Network Optimized, Performance Optimization Enabled, and Thermal Management Optimized. Tapos, kukonfirm mo lang. Yan. And then, nasa side yung option, kung gusto mo mag, uh, ilabas ulit yung option for the ultra game mode, is wipe mo lang from the left to right. Yan. And ito yon background calls, black notification, uh, esports mode, voice changer, and reject calls. So, esports mode yata yung para mag ultra yung game mo. Mag enhance yung playing games mo. There's another feature of this phone. It is called Multi Turbo 3.0. Siguro mag-activate to or nag-activate siya pag meron tayong ginagawa multitasking sa phone. Uh, bago mag-crash yung apps or bago mag-freeze yung phone or mag-restart yung phone, na-activate na yung AI ng Multi Turbo. Fast charging of this phone is not supported. OTG supported naman siya. For the next clip, please watch sample videos and pictures taken from this phone.
So there you go guys. Ang masasabi ko lang, when taking pictures, madali lang siya, just point and shoot, uh, no challenges. But when it comes to taking macro picture, medyo may challenges from this phone. Kailangan mo mag-adjust na lumapis sa subject and then lalayo ulit para lang mag-focus yung camera sa macro object. When it comes to video quality, pag daylight naman siya or very bright outside, maganda yung quality niya. Pagdating sa gabi, uh, medyo grainy na siya. Hindi masyado clear yung video pagdating sa gabi. When it comes to the front camera, okay naman siya. Kaso medyo exposed nga lang siya. Medyo maputi talaga siya yung surroundings mo when it comes to the quality of the front camera. So, ang verdict ko for my quick review of this phone and impression, uh, nag-install na rin ako ng games. When it comes to heavy games like Mobile Legends, okay siya. Available din yung options for high graphic quality. But I suggest you use the medium quality. Naka-experience lang ako ng once lang na frame drop. Pero hindi masyado nakaka-affect sa paglaro mo ng games. Hindi kagaya kasi ng ibang phone pag ano, talaga affected ka na matatalo ka talaga kasi sobrang bagal, nagfi-freeze yung game, nagso slow motion. But this phone it's okay. Baka nga sa ultra game mode na feature coming from this phone. Watching YouTube, Netflix and other video, okay naman siya, very colorful. Ang problem lang is the brightness. When it comes to loudspeaker, okay naman yung loudspeaker. Malakas siya. You play your favorite music and gusto mo parinig sa tao, okay siya. Marinig talaga niya kasi loud talaga yung loudspeaker coming from this phone. And I like it because it's loud. And another thing what I like from this phone is meron siyang dark mode. Dark mode feature. And screen recording. I like screen recording coming from a mid-range phone. And also yung haptic feedback. Again, yung nagbabibate yung phone while typing messages. I like it. And of course, meron siyang free jelly case and free screen protector. This phone costs 9,999 pesos. Almost 10,000 piso na lang. If you buy this phone, then it is worth it. Kasi meron din siyang expandable memory. And internal memory niya is 120GB. But, wag masyado mag-expect sa quality ng video when it comes to dark mode or sa gabi and pictures pagdating sa gabi. Other than that, um, okay naman yung videos niya when it comes to daylight and in bright places. Standard quality siya. Okay na. Hindi siya yung madyong malabo na pangit yung quality. Standard quality siya. And I forgot guys, what I also like is merong radio itong phone. So, you just insert the headphone para mag-play yung radio. So, once again, going to show you this phone. Ito siya. Ito. And here's the back of the phone. Yeah. Ito yung palm size ko. Ito yung phone. Yeah. Before I end this video, guys, meron akong another giveaway. It is the Vivo Smartwatch. Kasama siya nung pinurchase ko tong phone. Pero yung watch is uh, to follow siguro in the next coming day. For you to win the Vivo smartwatch, just read the mechanics on the description of this video. So again guys, thank you for watching and I hope to see you again next time. Bye!